guys, it's Becky here from Wild at Heart Farm, and you might be wondering why have I got so much butter? <laughs> well, I was at um, the grocery store the other day, and because Dan and I live about 90, well, any, depending on the time of the year because of the road conditions, 90 to, um, to two hours, 90 minutes to two hours away from our closest city. I like to stock up on things when I see that they're a good deal. So when I was at the grocery store the other day, I saw that the, my favorite grass-fed butter that I'm able to get locally was on sale for just $3.99, and that's Canadian. It's a really good deal for that. I've paid up to $9.99 for this butter. Because this is something that we use on a regular basis, I use it for all my cooking. We use it, um, if not daily, at least a few times uh, a week in our cooking. I thought this was a great deal to uh, stock up on that because we're going to save a lot of money in the long run. Now, the other reason was this stores really well. I can just pop this in the freezer and I actually have some in the freezer just in the regular packaging like this. But because I'm going to store this longer term and you can keep your butter in your freezer at least a year if you've got it um, sealed up properly. It's actually, I don't think it's ever gonna go bad, but what will happen is you may get some freezer burn. It might start to take on, if you're putting um, garlic and onions or other things that have a lot of, of flavors and smells in them, it could start to take on those flavors and smells. So what I'm gonna do here today is just vacuum pack that and throw these in the freezer for long-term storage. Now you can use a Ziploc, as well if you want to and um, if you're using a ziploc try to get as much um, air out as you can i just have a hard straw on hand all the time for the things that i'm putting into ziplocs and i just pull all the air zip it right up to where this is pull all the air out and then zip it closed and that will store even longer air is kind of the thing that you don't want getting at your food when it's in the freezer you can pop these in here I think I'll do two per package. I've written the date on it. Obviously don't have to write what it is because we can see that. And I really like the vacuum sealer. I think this thing is gonna pay for itself. I've done, um, because we also have a smoker, I've um, smoked meat and then vacuum packed it. Vacuum seal that. vacuum sealer too is it just does all the work. As long as you get it in there correctly, it's going to do everything. Once it's got all the air out, then it creates a seal. So I'll be doing these four at a time and I've probably got enough butter, well depending on how much baking I'm doing coming up because I do plan on opening the bakery before too long. Um, this will this will just last. It'll be absolutely fine for our needs. Okay, so there we go, has a date on it, ready to go into the freezer for long-term storage. So if, it's, if you find something that you can store and it's on sale, you've got room in your freezer and you've got room in your budget, just realize that long-term, as long as it's something that you're going to be using, that's going to save you money. All right, have a great day. Talk to you guys soon.